Lifetime Christmas movies honestly never make any sense. This is the Rock and Roll Weatherman. My name is Sean Morrison. And yes, um, Christmas time is always a fun time. There are a lot of classic Christmas movies out there. Like Rudolph, Home Alone. You know the drift Mr. Morrison's talking about. Regular Christmas movies. Those, they, are, the those are the best. Like Janaki's here. Stay, stay in that. D- there's um, lots of... um. Good um Christmas movies and everything, but you no. Know, for those of you asking, what is Lifetime? You know, it's a it's a channel on a lot of cable cable outlets that um show um different types of movies. Mostly, a lot of them. What do you classify a lot of them, Janaki? What's that? The Lifetime movies that aren't Christmas. Boring. <laughs> no, 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 not the Christmas. No, the ones that we usually watch that we like. Oh, the ones that we like. I'm sorry. Yeah, those are um, those I, are the ones that are usually in theaters. Those they're not in theaters. Lifetime. No, but the um, yeah, but Home Alone and right. Those are the Christmas movies we like. Right. I meant to say, what are the, what what do you classify the movies on Lifetime that we like that we see sometimes? Like Stalk by My Doctor. Oh yeah, we like the the drama. We like the you know the mysteries. The yeah, it's more drama and mystery. Even some comedies. Yeah, but not. Yeah. not there's been limited comedy on there. Limited comedy, but sometimes they do have a good one. Yeah. Um, sometimes they'll have a bad one, like the one where the girl was singing on your secret admirer. Yeah. Or the, with the one that, um, don't they have the one with um, Kate Hudson and Anne Hathaway? The, um, yes, before she passed. Um, what's that? No, 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 not, I'm thinking of the one with the one when she played the mother in the hotel. Oh, Anne Hathaway. Sorry Hayes. about that, wrong lady. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there was a woman in Hathaway, and I forgot the name of her, too. Devil Wears Prada. Devil Wears Prada, that, yeah. That's a funny one. That but, one is that one I really like. That was in theaters, though, you said, right? That was in theaters, yeah. There are, yeah, that's right. There are some th- there are some movies on Lifetime that show up on, um. I mean, some movies in theaters show up on Lifetime. I think even Lakeview Terrace even made Lifetime. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. So, pretty shocking that some of them that do show up there, but it is, and it is pretty cool. But these Christmas movies, I'll just, I won't rant or anything, but it's just that, you know, you want to get in the Christmas spirit and everything, but they don't make any freaking sense. No. We sat here and tried to watch a couple of them. They're boring. It's very boring. Sorry to say, but they're boring. They're boring. You know, the, I don't know how the actors can get into doing the movies that we can't even get into. One of those things. It's very lame. They're just not. Not Christmas. Not Christmassy that we like. Friends, if you're not subscribed to the Show Morrison YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else has to subscribe. Thank you much for the continued love, honor, and support. It's greatly appreciated. So there you are. Christmas movies on Lifetime, or even the Lifetime Movie Network, simply don't make any sense. No. If any of you disagree, you can kindly leave your comments here. Mr. Morrison will have a friendly discussion with you. Shame. Shame, shame.